Peace everybody, this is Thomas Amar with another special edition of Conversation Corner. I wanted to go into uh, just, you know, over the last week or so, it's been really, just not a lot of good things that have been happening. You have uh, situations where death has come into play in, in various different forms. You know, uh, police brutality has, has come to, to light and has happened more than once where it's reached the media. Um, who knows how many times it's possibly happened uh, where they are actually in the wrong. Now, I can understand being that I am in law, law enforcement, how an uh, officer has to protect themselves and things like that. But there are situations where they are actually in the wrong especially in our urban neighborhoods, and uh, as well as death coming by the way of mental illness. And, and the reason I wanted to bring this conversation to the light is because these are two things that I've had to deal with over my life. Within my life, you know, mental illness, I know a number of people that have had to deal with it, be it bipolar and depression, and, you know, just really seriously considering um, suicide. And suicide is something that really has to be discussed when you have all of these different things that come along. Plus, they usually have, in many cases, there's some type of addiction that can add to it, where it, it's, a, it's a brain malfunction. It's, um, it's something that they don't wake up one day and say, this is how I want to be. You know, and for those who make uh, really crazy type uh, or um, uneducated comments, you know, be it on all different forms of social media or within their conversation, it's really rough because what you need uh, to do is it, it become more educated in it. Learn out, uh, learn the various scenarios, the different medical uh, aspects of it, which is something that I had to do, and I still do um, because not only because I want to know, because there are some people that are close to me in, in my life that I really want to be able to discuss it with them. And, and most of all, as a life's liaison, my whole goal is to help someone. And if I have the opportunity to be a help me and something that is considered an illness, why would I not do it? Why would I not be that one that they can come to and that they can talk to if they feel as though things are really difficult at, right at that particular point without having them feel as though they're being shamed or judged? Because I, I really believe in a no judgment zone and a no judgment conversation. So, you know, and, and I have to have that trust. And I'm, I'm I, you know, listening is a skill. Listening is actually a skill and that's something that I've been able to develop over the years and it's something I would really um, like to continue on developing as well as having the knowledge to be able to continue to discuss these things with these people. You know, and, uh, I, I have three sons, you know, three sons, two of them are adults and, you know, I have a 13 year old plus I'm obviously a black male and I've had to go up in urban neighborhoods and I've lived in urban neighborhoods um, throughout my life. And, you know, there are opportunities or times where, you know, you never know what could take place. You never know how someone could um, come up on you and your reactions. And that's why we have to do a better job of responding properly. But at the same time, if there's some type of prejudice that's going on, if there's anger that's going on, you know, when you have a weapon, when you have some form of authority, be it a shield, you have to really sit back and recognize the consequences that will take place because you have a, uh, some control and some power at that particular time. What it does is it causes a lot of ugly responses that come about. And not only are we seeing it in different parts of the United States, but this is being shown around the world. And again, this is nothing new in our neighborhoods. Let's, not be, let's make this very clear. This is nothing new. Um, this is something that's been going on you know, for obviously, you know, hundreds of years. And, you know, we do have a pre-existing condition, which can lead to us to make uh, irrational judgments, um, um, irrational uh, uh, responses. Um, it can cause us to have mental issues that we have to deal with. But, you know, there are people out there that are really willing to help. And I, I strongly urge whoever needs that assistance, you know, sometimes you have to bite the bullet and just say, look, I need assistance. And need help and be willing to fight that battle and allow somebody to be with you to fight that battle you can't do this on your own and, and, and I, you know what I shouldn't say that you actually can do it on your own but why should you why should you eliminate an opportunity because you know having someone on your side at all times and knowing that that person is on your side and, and they trust you and you trust them 
um, it's nothing but help. That's all we're talking about right here. We want to have people to have better lives. We want, you know, having being happy is a birthright. Being wealthy is a birthright. The universe is made to have everything in our favor, to be a winner, not to be a loser. You know, losers, don't, they're losers. It's just that simple. They quit um, and they're not able to sustain, they're not able to be successful in whatever endeavors that they try. They're quitters. And that's what we're not. We, we don't want to be around quitters. We don't want to, you know, uh, put ourselves in situations where we can't strive. And, and, you know, today's time, people are so fragile. Mental illness is everywhere. Anger is everywhere. We're at what's called 100% dissatisfaction. And right now, we need to do a better job of not only helping ourselves, but helping other people. And that's why I really ask that you contact somebody. Contact somebody that you can talk to. Um, sit back and recognize and start to think, why did I make that judgment? Why did I do that? Why did I take that to the next level? What made me so mad um, to where I reacted in that manner? Why could not I have thought it a little bit longer, which I've been taught, think three to five seconds before you do or say anything. And then it becomes a response because you thought about it. Stop reacting. We need to do a better job of responding. But I strongly, strongly urge before, you know, uh, I, I close out is please, Get some assistance. Be willing to talk to people. There are sometimes people within your family sitting right next to you that's willing to do whatever. And if you can't trust them, who can you trust? But find somebody that you can trust. You know, do everything that you possibly can before you get to the point where you decide it's better to eliminate your own life. And now just think of the consequences that come along with that. You know, when it comes to this police brutality, when it comes to the ugliness that's happening in our various neighborhoods, you know, we start these things at our home. Our parents, we're not friends with our children. We have to do a better job with that. We have to do a better job of having consequences for these law enforcement officials and anybody else that is in authority that takes, um, takes over and, and goes too far with it, especially when it comes to death especially when it comes to death especially if someone is following the orders that you are laying out and then you still decide that it's best to unload on someone um, with your weapon there's a problem there has to be consequences and we can't always sit back and say we have to do an investigation and another thing you know this looting thing you know come on most of our urban neighborhoods are food deserts most of our neighborhoods don't have all of the basic essentials and we have to go somewhere and if there's some areas where within our neighborhoods why would you knock those down why would you burn those why would you steal from those when those people have been trying to assist you if they're good and if they're of right now there are many you know of these stores from people that come from other countries that are up to no good they may you know do things that are not beneficial for that particular neighborhood you know and i'm not telling you to go out there and be wrong and just do bad. I'm not. I'm telling you to do the best that you can. Be smart. Be wise. And let's get this stuff changed. It starts from the cradle. It goes from cradle to the grave. And that's what we're dealing with. People have to wake up. Recognize the situations that we're in. Everything has to be thought out. Everything starts with a thought. Change it. Make that paradigm shift in your mind. Somebody has to change it within your circumference within your sphere why don't you be the one teach the people in your sphere to do a better job and to be better and to uh, go outside of what's considered the norm be smart think first Thomas Amal hit me up conversation corner I love to hear your comments and we definitely can talk about this more regularly peace